Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of our Cape Space Connection series. I'm your host, Haley Cote, Community Manager of Cape Space Mashpee, and today I am so excited to be chatting with one of our members, Heather Ward. Heather, hello, how are you? I'm Haley. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see you, Haley. You too. And we've never had the pleasure of meeting in person, but it's nice to get to be virtually here. That's right, which a lot of us are doing for the first time these days with our new friends. So right. <laughs> we're not we're not uh, weirdos in that regard. It's cool. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Heather, are you ready to just dive on in here? Sure. Yeah. What, do, what should we talk about, Haley? Yeah. So to start off, tell us about what you do for work. Um, you have your own business, right? Yeah, that's right. So I own my own law practice. It's mm -hmm. called uh, aptly enough, the law office of Heather M. Ward. Mm -hmm. And I focus on divorce law and all aspects of family law issues. So divorce modifications, child custody issues, alimony issues, um, and prenuptial agreements. Mm -hmm. um, and we, this year, actually 2021 marks the 10th anniversary um, that I've had my firm in business. So it's uh, oh, wow. an exciting time. Good for you. <laughs> What led you into that particular uh, field of law? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I certainly didn't think while in law school many moons ago that I would be a family law practitioner, but <laughs> it kind of worked out that one of the first firms I was working for as a young lawyer, I was, uh, it was a small firm and I was, we all have our designations. I was the family law practitioner and I really enjoyed it. Um, I did get uh, exposed to it while in law school with classes and the attorney I worked for for a couple of years in law school, he practiced that too. And then I kind of fell into the role in my small firm. And when I left there, I said, you know, I really do enjoy this line of work. And I just sort of stuck with it. Awesome. <laughs> so what is it particularly about it that you really enjoy and are passionate about? Well, so it's, uh, there is a lot of um, relationship kind of drama, I guess, kind of goes with the, <laughs> the territory. Um, but I think that, you know, you have to have a lot of empathy as a family law attorney um, mm -hmm. dealing with divorce and, and the splitting up of couples and families. And, and I do think that I um, have had that, I possess that skill for quite some time. Um, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really as a owning your own business, it's nice to be able to set your own hours and mm -hmm. uh, pick your own clients that you couldn't <laughs> when you worked for a partner that's sort of sat a file on your lap and said, here, do this. Um, so that part is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> and Heather, so how long have you been a member here at Cape Space? Yeah, so it's going on two years, I believe. It's mm -hmm. like time is crazily. <laughs> it's just it, like I blinked and all of a sudden I think it's been a year and a half now. Right. Uh, yeah. And Heather has a business mailing address membership with us. And so I'm curious, Heather, how has Cape Space improved your work life and maybe just your kind of life overall, maybe? <laughs> yeah, no, it's been great. So my, my primary office is in Boston, but before mm -hmm. joining Cape Space, I did have a pretty um, active client list down on the Cape and practicing in the Barstool Probate and Family Court. So it's definitely improved um, my business by when I can meet with clients, you know, before I would pretty much stick with meeting them at the probate court or nearby coffee shop or what have you. Um, but now it's great because the Hyannis location, no offense to Mashpee, um, <laughs> I think Hyannis for my clients, it's really centrally located between folks mm -hmm. that reside in the upper Cape and lower Cape. And so they can come into a nice professional setting um, and not Yay. feel, uh, it's a little, it's professional, but more relaxed than maybe meeting at a courthouse, which definitely is stressful yeah. uh, for clients in the situation. And so that's been really nice. Um, and then also on the, uh, speaking of court though, Hyannis, the Hyannis location is actually quite close to the probate and family court in Barnstable Village. Mm -hmm. So there'll be times where I have a client in, um, in Cape Space and we're prepping for some sort of court hearing or trial. And then when we have to leave to go to court, it's, you know, five minutes away or whatever. Um, so it really has been, uh, it's been nice. Hmm. Now that's wonderful to hear. <laughs> and if for any of you watching are interested in that kind of business mailing address membership that Heather has, it gives you the perk of being able to come in and use our space too, which is awesome. Or if you're just interested in any membership we have, I'd encourage you to visit capespace.com. So Heather, moving on to kind of a little more rapid fire fun <laughs> questions. Are you ready? Okay, let's get, let's go. So to start off, what is your favorite hobby? Okay. So mm -hmm. This is a pre-pandemic answer, but traveling. Um, I really, unfortunately, like most of us haven't really gone anywhere in the last year and change, but mm -hmm. traveling is definitely my favorite hobby. Mm -hmm. um, 
and trying new restaurants. Certainly, I mm -hmm. kind of dig myself as a foodie, so I love going out. And the Cape mm -hmm. really, you know, both in the Mashpee area and the Hyannis area, there's a lot of yummy restaurants around, so that's nice. For sure. For sure. Well, that kind of perfectly leads into my next question, because if you're a travel buff, um, okay. so in kind of imagining a, your post-pandemic life, um, where would be your <laughs> dream travel destination? You know, the dream travel destination, um, I got to say the Polynesian Islands. Ooh. Like people go there for their honeymoon or whatever, which I think is great, but mm -hmm. I would love to just go there anytime to explore. It's supposed to just be crazy beautiful. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what are you currently binge watching or maybe reading? Okay. Binge watching. Mm -hmm. um, nothing in particular, to be honest with you, kind of just all things Bravo, but I, I do read a lot. Um, mm -hmm. I have a book club that I'm part of, and then I love mm -hmm. uh, taking out books from the library, supporting library. So I just mm -hmm. finished um, The Four Winds mm -hmm. for my book club meeting, which we actually meet tonight via Zoom. Mm -hmm. And that was great if anyone's interested in like the quickest I've ever finished a book probably. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then I am currently reading Daisy Jones and the Six, mm -hmm. uh, which came out recently in the last year or so, which is very interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. The book is set up like you're reading like a VH1 behind the music. Oh my um, gosh. Oh, I would love that then. <laughs> like interviewing <laughs> uh, band members and stuff. It's really interesting. So yeah. I'm liking, I'm liking that. Book. Oh, I got to check that out. <laughs> yeah. Daisy Jones and the Six. It sounds like a real band and Spoiler alert, it's fake, it's fiction. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of Bravo, I am a huge Bravo buff. We should probably talk yes. sometime oh, about yes. that. But... <laughs> yes. That would be good. I like to yeah. debrief with my Bravo friends. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, what would you say is your superpower? So that's funny. So I don't think, I'm just kind of a regular person. So I really, it's not that exciting, <laughs> but probably being the foodie, being out at restaurants, say you finish your meal and you always think, oh no, I could never, I can't eat anything else. Mm -hmm. I can always find room for dessert, no matter what, <laughs> no matter how full I am. So bring on the dessert. Oh, I love that. <laughs> You're the perfect person to go out with then. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and lastly here, Heather, what's the best advice you've ever gotten? I think of the classic, fake it till you make it. I really mm -hmm. do. And, and, you know, as a young lawyer, uh, in particular with business, I think you really, a lot of lawyers think, oh my God, am I doing this right or wrong? Just mm -hmm. act like you really know what you're doing and that it's correct and, and have your mentors, but mm -hmm. fake it till you make it, baby. Right. Having that confidence to just kind of yeah. keep pushing through. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's great advice. <laughs> well, Heather, thank you so much for joining us. This has been a pleasure chatting yeah, with you. Really. Good talking to you and um, saying hi to all the other fellow Cape Space members out there during this time. Yes, I know. I can't wait to see so many more people again soon. I know, I know. It's 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 nice on the one hand going to the space and you're like, oh look, it's it's open and I have a free reign kind of thing. Right. I miss seeing more faces around. Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And thank you so much all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay.